Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Each marriage develops, yet Sister Spouse's star Robin Earthy Cullard's relationship with Cody Brown has changed more than most, and she might be excited with how things have ended up. Robin gets more shade than anybody on the show. This is primarily due to the perception that she is a manipulator who has stabbed the other wise in the back while giving pretty speeches about the benefits of plural marriage. This could be an exciting turning point in Robin's life if she was truly committed to driving Cody's other spouses away. Presently, Robin has her man all to herself. She's snatching the spotlight with her monogamy babble and residing in an extravagant house as well. What more could Cody's just lawful spouse need? Conceivably, much more. At the point when individuals get what they need, they before long acclimate to having everything. They start to lay out new objectives. However, Robin may experience a sense of tranquility as she navigates life with Cody without having to compete passively with Mary, Janelle, and Christine Brown. Such countless obstructions to getting her direction have been taken out. Is it at long last going great for the infamous bad guy, Sobin Robin? The fact that Robin finally has the courage to admit that she wants monogamy is one indication that she is content in her current situation. She spent years arguing with Cody's former wives, so that's like the cherry on top for her. It would be similar to pointing the finger at Mary, Janelle, and Christine as she revealed to the world that she is completely committed to a monogamous lifestyle. After all, Robin talked for years about how great polygamy was and how she wouldn't be happy if she weren't in a plural marriage with many beloved sister wives. Anyway, what's happening? Perhaps Robin's displaying her new status. She now has the confidence to be herself. Her certainty is radiating through, and she plainly accepts that she can prevent Cody from seeking an expected new mate. At the point when Robin focuses, she will in general raise a ruckus around town, so she might be correct. Robin's in charge, and she knows it. While she seemed like her standard whiny self while discussing how it would be discourteous on the off chance that Cody went to court in, under her confession booth and weak tone, there is unadulterated steel. Robin is enforcing the law. Nobody traverses existence without changing, and the mark of life might be to change. Life doesn't endure forever, and who needs to remain something similar? Experience shapes people, and the individuals who invite change, instead of opposing it, are frequently satisfied with who they become. Robin has observed the development of Cody's exes since they parted ways. Despite the fact that Robin is still married, she can change. After years of suppressing them, she is now changing her perspective and possibly expressing her deepest feelings to everyone for the first time. That is the kind of radical shift that could result from truly being happy. She needs to keep up with the state of affairs, since she's substance with how things are. Dread can raise shortcoming. It has the potential to bring out a wide range of negative feelings and behaviors, including passive aggression and jealousy. This moment, Robin's very courageous. She appears to have relocated to a different plateau and is no longer envisioning a polygamous future. In that sense, she's a great deal like her fallen sister spouses, who've shed long periods of strict preparation since they just couldn't endure anything else. They do not, however, because she has a husband. If the goal of the game is to end up with a man who has received his fair share of criticism, Robin might consider herself the winner. Certain individuals probably won't look at Cody as an award, yet to Robin, she might have won a long and difficult conflict in which she needed to contend energetically to keep what she had. The Coyote Pass adventure featured the issues in the earthy colored family, plots of land became images of horrible brokenness, and a plural marriage was going directly toward the stones. Robin eventually won the skirmish of Coyote Pass, as she wound up with everything, while her kindred sister spouses dispersed. From an external perspective, it seems like Robin generally had it made, yet a great deal of powers were following up on her and Cody, creating some issues that darkened a tad bit of life's blushing sparkle. Different spouses didn't make things simple for Robin. 
Christine was the most forthright about the serious desire that she was feeling. Recollect when Cody assisted with selecting Robin's wedding dress. Christine was injured by that, and by different things that Cody did. Because she was the youngest wife, her pain was probably the most raw until Robin entered and usurped her. The late Sinead O'Connor and the author of Gone Girl, Gillian Flynn, are just two of the many talented musicians and writers who have dealt with themes of female rage. Robin and her previous sister spouses were raised to disregard and deny their own resentment. That is not good for your emotions. That kind of restraint in the long run drove three spouses to leave the plural marriage, presumably never to return. In the interim, Robbins directed her female fury into getting her marriage precisely the way that she needs it. She will no longer take part in the story. Robin's about Robin at this moment. She's no longer hiding, and it might be so satisfying for her to take off the mask and be who she is. What could be more satisfying than that? Amusingly, Mary, Janelle and Christine might be feeling the very same way. Women have power, and they can accomplish anything if they use it. In plural marriage, a lady's power might appear to be quieted because of man-centric goals that are firmly obsolete. Robin's dismissing those standards, and her genuineness about what she needs is nearer to woman's rights than the model of the accommodating sister spouse. As a result, Robin's power surge may be empowering her to confront sister-wise viewers who may not comprehend why she has changed her tune. She is recognizing her definition of happiness. She's mindful of what works for herself and what doesn't, and she's attempting to design the ideal life. That is an exceptionally current methodology, which is engaging. Robin's bluffing does not appear to be the case, so Cody might be kicked out if he doesn't follow the rules. Why ought she to? There are different choices, like simply leaving him. Robin cries a ton, yet entirely she's not powerless. She's the sole survivor. She had intended to be there. She is now ensuring that no new opponents enter the ring. Assuming they do, it'll be survival time for her. She'll have to choose to remain or leave. She has everything she wants at this point, but if that changes, she might no longer want Sister Wise star Cody. She's not the very Robin that she used to be. Is Cody content with only one lady? Now that he's permitted to just be with Robin, conceivable he'll lay out another objective, which incorporates another lady. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.